With a company as large as Microsoft, it's very unusual to see them make a mess of something as important as a mobile operating system. Today I'm going to take a look at the potential reasons why that was. I'm Mr. Baz and this is part one of Talking Tech, Microsoft. The app gap is something we constantly hear about and it's quite a valid point that there was a lack of apps on the platform and Microsoft are trying to tell us that they were trying really hard to try to pay developers to develop apps for the platform and that didn't succeed. But let's take a look at what Microsoft did. They bought LinkedIn uh, not that long ago, about 18 months ago. They stumped up a lot of cash. It doesn't take 18 months to write an app that works well, not just for phone users, but also Windows 10 desktop and notebook users, the full operating system. You'd think they'd have something quite impressive available for this. Yes, the store is a bit barren. Here we go. LinkedIn and Microsoft have an amazing web wrapper. They don't even have their own app. If you can't develop an app for your own product properly, why would you expect third parties to? When the 950 and 950X were released, most people accepted and understood that the operating system was not fit for release. It was buggy, it was slow, it was not stable, and it should never have seen the light of day. There was a fairly low-key event launch on this for the products, and the reviews weren't particularly positive. Understandably, this was in every way a botched release, and you have flagship phones which people aren't really going to buy. When Microsoft bought Nokia's phone division, many people assumed it would mean that there'd be a guarantee of new products coming along, that they had the expertise in-house now with the experienced company Nokia to build the phones. But it turns out that Satya Nadella was against the acquisition in the first place and he wasn't really that interested in it. And Microsoft stopped selling the phones. And they stopped selling the phones for almost a year since last Christmas. If you don't have products out there, people can't buy them. The last couple of releases that they had were low-key, uninteresting phones which weren't likely to tempt buyers. Continuum was another aspect which could and should have been fully developed but which was unfortunately not the ability to plug your phone into the display dock, therefore turning it into almost a computer is quite intriguing and generally quite useful. You can use your phone as a touchpad, you can plug in other devices like a keyboard or mouse. It's mobile computing with the option to use a larger screen. There's massive potential with this, particularly for business users and people that travel where you'd be able to get things done. Unfortunately, it didn't really get the updates that it deserved. They were a couple of small ones, but they never really turned the experience into what it could have been. This is another example of a really good concept and idea which will now be taken up with other companies with different operating systems and then pushed to their full potential. It's a huge mistake from Microsoft to come up with such a good idea and then to completely abandon it. They had no phones that were being sold to support it anyway. People picked these up on a deal such as I did. They were selling it. Um, you were getting it for free with the 950 or 950 XL. What a shame. What a great concept. A great idea just thrown into the rubbish bin. The problem for Microsoft is they haven't really adapted to the changing environment that we live in, particularly with the explosion in mobile operating systems. And we can now see that Android has this year overtaken Windows as the main operating system. This includes all devices. If we break it down into the smartphone market, we can see that Microsoft had a very small share, even going back a few years, but they could have built upon that, at least got up to double digits, which they evidently managed to do in a few regions. Their tablet share is ultimately quite dismal. It's even worse than their mobile market share. That's despite not making any products for it for almost a year. It's almost a complete failure from Microsoft to adapt to the needs of users. There were some glimmers of hope even after the release of the flagship phones with the flawed operating system. All of that has been wasted. Once you throw the towel in and completely give up on something, run in a corner and cry, 
that's it. There is no chance of ever succeeding. And that's something which Satya Nadella has really forgotten. They're going to go back to their old favourites, their subscription models on Office. There might be some teeth on that, particularly for corporate users, but for home users, there's really no need to be spending money on an Office suite when you can get offerings like LibreOffice for free, which for most people will do the job perfectly well. It remains to be seen how much money they can make off of offering apps on the Android platform. It's just a shame they couldn't have put a bit more effort into their own platform. There are many reasons why Windows Phone failed. It can't just be blamed on a single person. Satya Nadella is the current CEO. It wouldn't be right to say that he was responsible for every mistake. He's got some new ideas, evidently Andromeda, but we've not seen anything on that. It just looks like a pipe dream at the minute. But then he admits that he made a mistake abandoning consumers. If you admit that you're making a mistake, or you know that you're making a mistake, you would normally stop making that mistake. You would correct it. You would say, right, I'm going to stop doing that. It's like smoking. You know it's bad for you but you continue to smoke 40 cigarettes a day it's not really cutting it as far as I'm concerned now the Azure may be a cash cow for Microsoft the cloud computing they also got their feet in mixed reality but that's looking like a distraction rather than a main event it's hard to see how they're going to earn a significant income on that side of things Nadella is quite right if you don't jump on the new you don't survive mobile computing is relatively new and it's important if you don't not involved in it you have to be a serious player in it particularly for a company like microsoft otherwise you're just going to become a two-bit software company that develops apps for other people's platforms as a windows user myself i don't particularly care i use android i use other operating systems as well but this will go down as one of the most monumental mistakes that microsoft have ever made is to completely abandon mobile computing which is very clearly the future of computing for most people Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to let me know what you think. This has been episode one of Talking Tech.